Florida's wildlife is unlike any other state. Alligators, manatees, panthers, black bears, and even sharks to name a few. But there's one group of animals with an interesting story, and they could be living right in your backyard, or in your washing machine like this woman's. Snakes. Florida has 44 species of them, and they all vary in size, color, and diet. Out of those 44, surprisingly for Florida standards, only six of them are venomous. And of those six, bites from some aren't much of a concern, while others, well, you could end up in the hospital. Luckily though, none of these snakes, whether they're venomous or not, want to bite humans. Experts say they usually want to avoid human contact altogether, only biting when they feel threatened or harmed. But there's one type of snake in Florida that is very different from the rest, and it's not in a good way. One of the largest snakes in the world, she can grow more than 20 feet long, can be as wide as a telephone pole, and she isn't even from here. She's the Burmese python, and she's invasive. It's unclear how exactly the Burmese python invaded Florida, but in 1992, Hurricane Andrew, one of the most powerful storms on record, hit Miami. With 150 mile per hour winds, which are strong enough to rip buildings apart, it destroyed a breeding facility for Burmese pythons. As you can guess, many of them escaped, making the Everglades and surrounding areas their new home. Experts also suspect people keeping pythons as pets and then later releasing them could be a contributing factor. Sometimes they're released because people don't realize how big they get. For reference, a 20 foot long snake is literally taller than some giraffes. Oh yeah, and they can swim and climb trees. With that size comes a huge appetite, and it's having a devastating effect on the ecosystem, specifically in the Everglades. According to the US Geological Survey, populations of raccoons, possums, and even bobcats have dropped severely after the introduction of the python. It adds that marsh rabbits, cottontail rabbits, and foxes effectively disappeared. And all those animals have been found in the stomachs of these snakes. Florida wants to get rid of these pythons so bad, they're willing to pay you to do it. Every year, the state hosts its python challenge, and those with the largest kill and most kills are walking away with some prize money. So what do you do if you see a snake, or even worse, get bitten by one? Most of Florida's non-invasive snakes are completely harmless, and they actually do a lot of good for the environment. Experts from the Florida Museum say if you find a native snake in your backyard or pool, don't try to kill it. First, try to identify the snake, but then just appreciate it from afar. Snakes can be very helpful by eating unwanted pests like mice and rats, and even insects. When it comes to a bite, your chances of being bitten are actually pretty low. The museum says most people People get bitten by trying to handle or kill a snake. You could also accidentally step on one, so maybe just watch where you're walking. But here's where it gets a little weird. If you manage to kill a snake, she could come back for you in the afterlife. For a short time after they die, snakes may still have reflexes. So if you touch it wrong, you could end up with some fangs in your arm. If you do get bit by a venomous snake, stay calm, but the only solution is antivenin, which means a trip to the nearest hospital. Luckily though, almost all the snakes you'll find in Florida are valuable members of the ecosystem. So if one slithers by, the safest thing to do is let it be. Considering the move to Florida, or maybe you're already here, tell me what you want to know about. You can email me at mjones at 10tampabay.com, or you can find me on Twitter at katiejonestv.